Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another cash stuffing video. If you're new here, my name is Gemma, and I am on a journey to sort out my financial life and cash stuffing is one of the methods that I'm using. So we're just going to do a really, really quick weekly cash stuffing, get ourselves set up for the new week. If you saw my last video, I'm going to be doing a huge overhaul of this, um, of this binder. For a, well, for a start off, I need to buy a, two more binders. I need one for business expenses. And then one of the things that I'm going to be doing is taking this wallet out of here because this one that says savings on is specifically for mine and my kids' holiday for next year. Now, when I bought this, I think I bought this as a set and it just came with some um, kind of pre-filled out labels. Um, so that's fine, I obviously know what it is, but I want to create some new wallets that are specific to me and to what I'm, I'm saving for. So these are going to be going. I am going to be making some of my own um, wallets, you know, the, the frosted style wallets, and then they, are, they will say on them um, exactly what I'm saving for. So as well as revamping this one, I'm gonna be starting a new, a new binder, sorry, for, my business expenses and then a brand new wallet that will be specifically for longer term um, cash stuffing because you know this most of these are for kind of everyday spending so it makes sense to be able to separate them so that's what we're going to be doing so I haven't done a cash stuffing video for a few weeks so uh, let's crack on with it so let's Oh my goodness, there's so much change in this in these wallets right now. So in the miscellaneous and leftover, we've got 20, 40, 60, 81 pound. And 20, 40, 60, 80. One pound Oops. and ten twenty three. So we've got two pounds twenty three left over in there. So let me just make a note of that. Then in nothing impersonal. In groceries, then we have nothing in transportation either because I've just filled up the car. Um, so we've got five, and then a load of change again. <laughs> oh no, and now it's all running away from me. Uh, hold on, bear with me. So we've got five. Actually, I'm not gonna count that five because I think I'm gonna leave it in the wallet. So let me put that to the side. So we've got one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 80. do we have any more 20s? No. One pound. And then one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, a pound, and then ten, twenty, oh, twenty three again. So in this one, we've got four pounds twenty So we've got six pounds 46 in change then that I can add into my change jar. So let me do that now actually. So in the penny jar, we currently have 30 pounds and 22 pence. So let's add that on. So 
So we now have £36.68 in the penny jar. So let's start cash stuffing then. So I'm not putting anything into the um, holiday savings this week. I cleared that out at the beginning of last week and um, put that back into the bank because we hit 205. Uh, so this is just going to be for the weekly spending. So let's start off with transportation. I don't think I'm gonna need any fuel for the car, but you never know, do you? So I'm gonna put 20 in there. And then for groceries, um, I want to put the five back in, but let's put a 20 in as well. Let's do 25. Um, this is not that I spend 25 a week on groceries. I do a big shop at the beginning of the month where we get most of the um, dinners and things like that. So this is just things that I need to top up on, fresh stuff fruits, vegetables, milk, bread, that kind of thing. Um, and then in personal, I'm just going to put 10 in personal for this week. There's nothing that I'm anticipating needing. And then lastly, in miscellaneous, well, we have to put the 20. Miscellaneous spending seems to go down really quickly. I feel like I might need to start tracking how much or what exactly I'm spending. So that might need to uh, that might need to start to happen. So I think I might also, when I order my new binders for the cash stuffing, I might also look at ordering a an A5 binder and then um, getting myself some planning sheets and printing them off and putting them in there just so that I can really keep a track on on how much I'm spending but I'm having a, the hardest time in finding binders that I really want um, to buy and I figured if I'm going to be splashing out on some nice new things to keep me motivated then they need to be things that I um, really fall in love with so I'm going to keep searching and of course as soon as I find some new binders I will I'll film them and let you guys let you guys see them. So that's us all set up for another week then. Like I say, this is just a really quick one because there's not a lot, um, a lot of stuffing to be done for this week. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know where you're watching from, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.